Tall creatures or tall tales? Legends of the Yeti have been around for ages. Well, now the search for the larger-than-life creature is getting some serious academic attention. Will it lead to proof the Yeti actually exists? Here's NBC's Keith Miller. Abominable snowman! Stories of the Yeti entered our popular culture two centuries ago when tales of a huge human-like creature reached us from the Himalayas. Gigantic footprints found in the snow. Sightings by mountaineers. Long hair, they are going on two legs. They are much taller than a huge man. The world's largest archive of material on the Yeti is stored in this museum in Switzerland. This is it. Some 25,000 pages devoted to unexplained creatures. Sasquatch files, everything that comes from the Yeti. Now Oxford University professor Brian Sykes, the author of DNA USA, is using his expertise in DNA analysis to test organic material connected to the Yeti. Like lots of people, I've always been curious about what these really are. It's highly unlikely that we will find an entirely new species, but we might. The highest point on our planet is no place for man. A few years ago, I went to Everest Base Camp for the Today Show. No sighting of the Yeti here, but the locals told stories of a giant man-like creature that slaughtered their yaks. This is the, the famous skull of a supposed Yeti. Professor Sykes is teaming up with zoologist Michel Sartori to launch a worldwide search of physical evidence of the Yeti's existence. This is the starting point. Yeah, exactly. So far, they have discovered tall tales. A creature frozen in a block of ice. But no hard evidence. But acclaimed mountaineer Reinhold Messner says he encountered a creature at high altitude. They are standing on two legs, they are maybe this size, and they are able to kill a yak with one. At the end of a decade-long search for the Yeti, Messner believes he discovered the identity of the mythical monster. There is no doubt that this, there is a bear, which the local people call the snow bear. Could this be what people call a Yeti? Hunted and killed in the 1930s by a Nazi expedition to the Himalayas, the body donated to Messner's Mountain Museum. Other eyewitnesses claim the Yeti is in fact an ape. This is the cast of a jawbone of Gigantopithecus, thought by most people to be extinct. Compare the size of it with your, your jaw, look at that. Uh, this would have been eight, ten foot tall. So you're talking yeah, up towards the ceiling. As long as people continue to search for the Yeti, the myth endures. But if science succeeds in unraveling the legend, believers may not be able to bear it. For today, Keith Miller, NBC News, the Italian Alps. The uh, mystery are, continues. Are we sure it's not Roker playing a practical <laughs> joke? <laughs> Good thing. He's doing the footprints right now. <laughs>